Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the to the OVA episode of the Idol Master Shinderly Girls under 149. Okay, I initially kind of forgot about this. Like, dead ass, I forgot about this. Like, I knew um it was announced, I think, when we were either like halfway through the series, or I think we had just I think one or two weeks before the series was over, or a couple weeks after it ended. And I do remember that it was supposed to come out like around the time, the week of or the week after my birthday. Um, but I was like, yeah, we're probably not going to see subs for this for a while because I, I'm guessing Crunchyroll was not going to get the rights to it and such. So we knew we were going to see like fan translations. But out of the blue, literally one of my Patreons messaged me about this and I was like, oh my god, like, ah! And so I'm super excited because, um, Kozue, I think Kozue's in this, um, the one, her, her name starts with a Y and she has long blue hair and she has this cute little bang and everything and she loves the crap out of cats. Um, she gets a, she gets a voice cause she already had her voice due to the, um, oh my God, the, uh, the running of the Cinderella, the year of the Cinderella thing with Jiggy. Um, and I think the one other little girl, I think her name is Mai, she, either she gets a voice in this as well, or she's featured in this episode. I'm not sure about that. But as we initially talked about with this show, I, I still kind of hope, I have a little secret little prayer with, even though with everything that is currently going on with Desate and We'll probably talk about that at the end of the video and such and my personal opinions and, and is because your girl got a lot of personal things about that because I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I I don't know. But other than that, it's going to get started in three, two, one, go. The atmosphere is literally my aesthetic. I miss this song. Even though the song is in the game, I've missed this song. Good job, baby. Good job. Look at her, you I mean, that's a good behind talent. Let her boy get on my eye.
How can you be so sure about that, huh? Was that who I think it was? It is! It is Koi Hume too! <laughs> of course, of course they have both of them together. Cause duh, they're a unit. <laughs> Thank God she got at least a speaking voice. It's a little small role. Also, was Kogumi wearing her one of her SSR outfits?
something also tells me they're secretly all recording this, so, you know, it's all going according to plan. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you give me. Right? I mean, that is the main objective as of now. <clears throat> And to read some novels. No. <laughs> Except her hair is a longer, it's more short. Okay, so this was cute. Yukimi is such an adorable baby. Like, I always assumed, especially I think the first time I saw her, like, SSR card and such, or like any other cards, that she was super duper in love with the horror aesthetic and such, that she loves scary movies and creepy things. But yeah, no! The fact that she's not into that, like, that, it, it's cute still, but she's, like, she's so much in that, like, aesthetic and stuff. She's very much in that nutshell. Besides, like, Ko Koyume. Koyume is a 10 out of 10 with that, because, duh, Koyume. That is the horror queen of Cinderella Girls, I'm just saying. Like, anything between, okay, so you know that one song that Koyume and, um, I don't remember her name, but I have her. I literally, she's the one girl for this song. It was like a creepy horror, like cutesy rootsy song. Um, the girl that she's partnered with in the unit, any one of her cards always want to freaking come home for me. I am like cursed specifically for her. It's nuts. I do like the fact that we're getting, you know, 15 minutes of, oh, what's up? Aliens? Aliens. Aliens. It's going to be, uh, <laughs> you know, no, I just go to it. Hmm. 
<laughs> but it would have been funny <laughs> if Nina came down. I was like, yes, planet, listen to me. <laughs> That's a baby. Yeah, it looks like a heart. Nina Bobina. Did I mean Nina? I meant like what the hell? Miss Usumi herself, yeah. Nana, that's what I meant. My sleepy babies. <laughs> That's what they are. Yeah, it looks like a seed. Almost maybe like a pumpkin seed. Well, they're planning something. We just don't know what it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you need to... <laughs> Comes away. Comes away, baby. <laughs> you need to, you know, dig a little bit yeah, and cover it. Yeah. There you go. Now you need to water it. <laughs> Did you water it? Mm -hmm. How much water? You need to give it water. Mm -hmm. That's food for them. Mm -hmm. No. They literally, they, they, they didn't give us uh, voices. Oh my God. That's so sad. You think that would have happened. Maybe season two. Because, I mean, Mai and the Magical Girl chick, they both deserve roles and voices. I hope y'all have sunscreen on. Hey, yo, is this like the one SSR card for Shiki, her, her best card? Because that's what we're looking at right now. <laughs> <laughs> when the plants attack.
Uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Um... She was taken by the aliens. And, you know, I just took a liking of you, so that's why I look like you. Ooh. E excuse me? Yep, this is the reason why Shiki has that SSR. Mm -hmm. Asuka too. Yep, mm -hmm. yes. This is the reason. <laughs> Yeah, she's still figuring that out.
I love that they, once again, they feature these two. They're like, here, no, they're not getting voices. Once again, even though I am not a child producer for this game and such, it would be nice for these characters to get some freaking voices. Aw. Because, like, y'all remember when, um, Cinderella Girls Theater, like, kind of trolled us for a moment with Helen, and we all initially thought that Helen was going to get a voice, and she did <laughs> Like, but, uh, they were like, here, she's featured in the episode. She has a moment in the episode, but she gets no voice. Nothing. I love how we went from, like, horror scary movie aesthetic to, like, almost James and the Giant Peach. Aliens. I, guess. <laughs> I mean, because I, once again, never would have thought that Kozoi would have been into, like, ish like that. Because, of course, her, her perm is, like, fairies. She likes fairies and itch. Never would have thought that the chick is over here thinking like, yeah, she's a princess from an alien planet and such. But hey, whatever floats your boat. Hey, you, you do what you got <laughs> But no, seriously, I love the fact that they're also with these two episodes that we did watch in one, um, both of their um, character songs are in this specifically at the ending credits because we have not gotten, I think the last, you know what? Let's look that up. Give me one second. Let's open up this dang game because the last, uh, I gotta make sure my volume is off. I think, okay. We know the next character game that officially, I'm a character game. The next character song that is coming to the game is Sukasa. Which is something, well, a song that I am truly, truly excited for because, of course, we got to hear it first on Cinderella Girls and such. And um, I was expecting, especially with all the other songs that we were getting initially with this show, that eventually we were either going to have another event, like the Lips event that came out with this. Um, of course, the one the one that's under 149, celebrating the anime and such, and the songs that we got from that. But I was also expecting for us to see, like, the solos that we got for these girls would initially be in there. Like, of course, the second solos. Or even, um, I remember, like, they did the Momoka version of the one song, I think that she's in. I don't remember the name of it. Um, but it goes, da 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 that song um and I think she's in that which was nice even if she wasn't it was nice to see or have a version of each girl singing a song that they relatively didn't sing so my initiative if we do get a second season with this um which of course they have not really confirmed anything um I would love to see more but yeah the last girl who got a solo song was I think Koharu. Cause we're looking I'm looking at second songs for solos and stuff. Yeah, Koharu was the last girl from this, obviously. I have not played it yet because I haven't even unlocked the dang song. Um But I I would love to see both you um Yumiko and Kozaway songs eventually be added on to this. Um, but no, really, I love this OVA for, you know, this episode and stuff. It was really nice to have, like, a shortened episode of both girls, um, in a two-in-one. Really good. But no, let's also, <laughs> hopefully, one thing before we talk about the other elephant in the room, um, once again, I do truly hope that this is a quote-unquote sign that possibly in the future, once again, we do get the, um, the adult girls, uh, having their specific spinoff and focusing on them because as an adult producer and such, I can relate a lot more to these girls and such with everything else on the issue that they're going with you. Not, not as saying that I did not enjoy the series. I love the heck out of this because these children are freaking adorable as hell. And I'm like, I, I cried over them like several times. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. So from the last couple of weeks, I would say for the last two months. Now, we just recently just finished the collab of um, 
what's her face with Kayede? Of course, you know. <laughs> long story short, yeah. Woo! You want to know how long it took Kayede to come home? I had to spark for her. And I, I, I thought I would never have to spark again for a Kayede card. This is the second time I had to spark for Kayede. But thank God Kayede hit eight, came home. I, I was happy. I was crying. I was like, thank you, Jesus. I was like, I ain't got to stress about this for the next couple of weeks. I was like, she's home. And, you know, the girl who likes her, she, she also came home too. She came, she came home too. Too damn much. But the biggest issue was this. A lot of people... um were very worried about the the situation of the way Dissete is kind of really going, specifically, like, the dominant idol situation, which I, I love. I love the fact that, you know, we're getting a new gotcha, of course. It gives chance for you to, like, save up and da-da-da-da-da um, for, of course, the certain girls that you want. But let's really talk about the reruns that are currently happening as of now. Um... Initially, you have the re. It was a, it was the schoolgirl rerun, and the Halloween rerun. Because normally we do reruns of each different like gotchas like in a month, and you know of course Halloween gotchas are specifically between September and October and such. So a lot of us thought that was extremely weird. Plus the reruns that just recently happened before um, the collab. So a lot of people kind of think that they're trying to pull all this together and that we might possibly see an end of service at least by the end of this year. I don't really want to say that and such, but it's like the signs are there. They're really there. And it's just like, what do you, what do you do? I don't know sale wise about how much this game has gotten. I know I have put money into this game. We all know I have. Um... But I was watching a video, like, talking about uh, the mobile game Nike, and it was showing, like, this list of rosters of all these different mobile games, or gotcha games specifically, that are in, like, the top top. And Desente was in there. But Desente was more, like, I think in top 10, possibly. I'm not really sure, because, like, I don't know how much, like, a gotcha game makes money on it and, and such. Yeah, you're buying-ish every single, like, time and such. I mean, yeah, we already know, once again, the guy who did the fake Grand Order and how he spent how much and he ain't get that damn card. I felt bad for him, but I was like, I, I will never spend that much. Thank God I have not. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Because I, I watch my spending habits and such. Um, but even as of now, I don't specifically know how the heck this is going to go. Um, another thing that I did see someone who I recently... Uh, I've been following her for like um, maybe about a good two years as of now. Maybe almost three. Um, she would normally do these videos on like predicting what the next um girl for SSR cards would be, what the, you know, attribute slash skill would be, da 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 um, and such. Well, after, I think before the collab came out, because we obviously knew Kayede was going to get a card, um, as Kayede 8. Still wanted Kayede 8 to be a dang permanent card, but you know, hey, here's hope for Kayede 9, because, look, I'm going to say this, honestly, dead ass. Kayede got a lot of ish. She got an SSR card that was limited collab, and she got a limited SR card. Let my baby rest. Let her rest for the whole freaking year. Do not give her any cards specifically so I can fucking save. That's it. Do not give her any more cards. No SSRs, no SRs, no nothing. Let her rest. Let Saudi Hayameen rest. Let her rest. Let her chill the F out. And then next year... If we're still here, then yes, give her Kayede 9. Do not, do not, I swear to God, give her Kayede 9 by October. I swear to God, no, do not do that. Don't, not even by the anniversary. Do not do that ish. I swear to God, because Bandai Namco, aka Scamco, likes to do ish like that. As someone who freaking produces Kayede, Mizuki, Shin, Miyu, and Sane, anytime. Any freaking time I get a card, a new card comes out, and I'm over here crying, being like, I just got this card, and now I have to get this card. Like, seriously. But, as I was also saying, um, 
with the the video she talked about and such, and then like her post that she put on um, Twitter slash X, um, she had like a um, a roster of all the girls who kind of the like the quote unquote fan favorites and such, the most popular girls, um, and who recently had not had an SSR for a while. And funny enough, two of the girls that she kind of picked who possibly one hundred percent possibly need the SSRs just recently got SSRs for the school girl. Um, situation gotcha and such like that so yeah i i don't really know what the heck is gonna happen with this series in the next couple of months it was funny enough like okay sad games i think they had this like um magazine post a uh, poster or cover i don't remember because i saw this like i think two or three weeks ago um and it literally showed everyone except any of the girls from Dissente, specifically either Uzuki, Rin, or Mio. Because, of course, they are their, like, sister channel, network, whatever, and such. They also own a little bit of the rights of it, too. So, you would have assumed. And so, everybody was also looking at that, like, Ugh, like, this could possibly be the end. But, like I said, I I'm not going to say anything or initially be like, this could be the end until... Bandai Namco makes a, a statement on the game that it's officially translated, whether it's, like, on the fan Twitter page or the girl who I follow, who instantly will put stuff out ASAP, um, says something about it. When it once it's officially set in stone, that is when. But, I, like, I literally, I have not talked to my friend about it, but we were talking about the game last night, and he's like, I haven't logged in in a hot minute. Like, after the collab, like, psh, because he's been busy with school. And, and that's and that's fine. Once again, multi-ballads and such. But it is a little weird. Like, extremely weird. So, I, I really don't know how in the world this is going to go. So, I think, you know, the next time we're possibly going to see maybe any initial sign of it is the anniversary. And the anniversary is all the way in September. And we're in April. That's a long time away. <laughs> like, a, a, like September, August, one of the two. But still, that's a long time away. So, you know, we just got to wait and see. So, yeah, definitely got to keep a watchful eye on Twitter pages. Yes. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards the OVA episode of the Idol Master Cinderella Girls under 149. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all, well, probably in the next couple of minutes for one other show that I do have to watch today. And then anything else that comes out later on in this week going into next week. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!